A ransomware attack forced a vital U.S. pipeline offline over the weekend. The Colonial Pipeline supplies nearly half of the fuel used on the East Coast. And now the FBI has identified the hacker group behind the attack. CBS News Chief Justice and Homeland Security Correspondent Jeff Pegues has the latest. Tonight, U.S. officials are pointing the finger at a shadowy Russian cyber hacking group blaming them for Friday's attack that caused nearly half the fuel supply flowing to the Northeast to come to a grinding halt. We're going to be meeting with President Putin. The White House now calling it a criminal act. So far, there is no evidence based on from our intelligence people that Russia is involved, although there is evidence that the actors ransomware is in Russia. They have some responsibility to deal with this. The Russian-affiliated hacking group known as DarkSide implanted ransomware into Colonial Pipeline's business computers, holding their company data hostage. That forced them to shut down 5,500 miles of pipeline that supplies fuel from Texas to New Jersey. They ended up locking up the systems uh, where Colonial can't use them, and they're demanding a multi-million dollar uh, ransom uh, to be able to get access back to that network. It's not known whether the company has or will pay that ransom, but the suspension in the pipeline's operations has caused gas prices to tick up across the affected region. If this outage goes past the end of the week, prices could spike pretty dramatically. The country's largest oil refinery in Texas has scaled back operations, and the shortage of jet fuel could impact several airports if the situation is not resolved soon. In a statement attributed to DarkSide, the group said, our goal is to make money and not creating problems for society. The FBI is urging critical infrastructure companies like Colonial to harden their defenses. This was not a nation state attack with sophistication. Uh, ransomware is something that we have been talking about that we know how to prepare for. And Jeff joins me now with more. So Jeff, this dark side group claims it doesn't target certain institutions and says it even gives some of the money it receives from ransoms to charity. So what more do we know about the group and its motivations? Well, what they're saying is all PR because law enforcement officials here in the U.S. believe that this is a criminal hacking group and what they allegedly did uh, in shutting down this pipeline uh, this is a major problem for uh, U.S. officials, and that's why you have the president uh, today saying that uh, the FBI is investigating this. Uh, we know other agencies are involved as well. So this is a serious thing, no matter what this hacking group, Dark Side, says it does with the money. Well, how concerned are U.S. officials, Jeff, about the vulnerability of critical infrastructure to cyber attacks like this or more serious ones? Well, listen, this has been a problem, Elaine, for some time, and there has been a lack of focus on keeping critical infrastructure safe as it relates to these cyber attacks. They've been ongoing uh, on critical infrastructure for some time now, but it is something that perhaps the the federal government and the American people really haven't been paying attention to. In the past, we've done reports on dams uh, on the eastern seaboard being targeted by hackers. Uh, and so there are other uh, targets that these uh, criminal hacking groups go after. And sometimes nation states are behind uh, some of this cyber activity. And so critical infrastructure is something that people are concerned about in terms of these cyber attacks and the ransomware attacks. Uh, and there are members of Congress saying that this is a wake up call, that this is something that the government really has to pay attention to going forward. Well, Jeff, is the Biden administration planning any sort of response to the attack on Colonial? Well, I think the first step is really getting to the bottom of what exactly happened here. The fact that the, uh, the FBI came out so quickly today and named Darkseid as the prime suspect says a lot, because in a lot of these cases, attribution can take months, sometimes longer than that. Uh, but in this case, they investigators feel pretty good about what they have in terms of digital evidence tying this criminal activity to this group called DarkSide. It's a relatively new uh, hacking group, according to the people that we've talked to about it. Uh, but still, the, the, the hacking group has, has gained a, a certain amount of notoriety 
because of some of the tactics it has used in the past. So uh, there is a concerted effort on the part of uh, law enforcement to get to the bottom of this uh, criminal activity. Uh, the question is, you know, uh, what really motivated this group to do it? Uh, was there a nation state involved? Those are just some of the questions that law enforcement will try to answer. And there are a lot of people who believe that Dark Side is in Russia somewhere. Uh, and that uh, says a lot. You know, former government officials have come out to say, you know, that something like this couldn't happen. This kind of ransomware attack uh, carried out allegedly by a, a group called Dark Side that allegedly has um, uh, footprints in Russia. This kind of activity could not happen without the blessing of the Kremlin. But that is not something that uh, law enforcement officials are saying just yet, perhaps too early for that. But obviously that's something that they will look into, whether this is something that was tied to a nation state as well. And Jeff, you touched on this a moment ago, but when you look at America's infrastructure, how big of a threat do organizations like this pose to companies and consumers who rely on the products and services that these businesses provide? Well, listen, I, I happen to think that ransomware is one of the undercovered stories of the last five, six years. You know, we used to hear about these ransomware attacks targeting hospitals, and then from there it progressed to cities, and now even... Uh, local police departments are being targeted by ransomware hackers. And so this is a major problem. Ultimately, you know, especially when it comes to ransomware attacks on cities, it's taxpayers that end up footing that bill. So this is a serious issue that, again, government officials will have to focus more on because these uh, criminal hacking groups, this is a business model for them. They are making money doing this. And so you can expect that they'll try to do it again and again and again until they're caught. Clearly so many threats out on, on the horizon when it comes to this. Jeff Begay's for us. Jeff, thank you very much. My pleasure.